Hey, it's Medium Jenny Lee. I'm here with the Quick Draw Tarot videos for the month of August 2023. But I ask them to be timeless, and whenever you are meant to watch them, it is the divine timing for you. I hope that you enjoy this reading for your astrological sign. Pisces, it's your turn for the Quick Draw energy reading for the month of August. Pisces, this is a very interesting spread. These two cards have not come out today at all. And as a matter of fact, I don't know if I've gotten these two cards at all in any of these quick draw energy readings. And this card came out earlier for a different reading. Very interesting. I also find it interesting that you have this totality card because it has been said about Pisces because it's the last zodiac sign in the cycle that the Pisces, the Pisceans, <laughs> are have a lot of characteristics of all the zodiac signs mixed together. I don't know if you feel that way as a Pisces. Um, I had never really heard that before until recently. And I'm wondering, so let me know in the comments, do you feel like you have, as a Pisces, a mixture of all the different kinds of zodiac signs within you? Curious to know. But when I saw that totality card, that's what it made me think of. I also think it's very interesting as a water sign that you have the king of water here in this healing card. Um, and you also have a major arcana, which is the number 10 change, which I believe is the equivalent of the Wheel of Fortune in the traditional tarot. Let's start with that card. We're going to start with the change card. So this card in the Osho Zen is a wheel, just like the Wheel of Fortune in the traditional tarot. It has a yin-yang symbol in the middle, which of course is positive, negative, light and dark, balance, that yin-yang symbol is surrounded by a rainbow ring, and outside of that rainbow ring is four sections that represent the four cardinal directions. And then there's a ring that I believe has the symbols of the I Ching, and then there's another ring that has all the zodiac symbols in it as well. So this change card is a representation of all that there is. And as you can see, it has this spinning, flowing motion going around it as if it were a wheel as if it were spinning can constantly just like the movements of our constellations and our sky and our earth revolving around the sun and the moon revolving around us there's always constant motion and with constant motion there's always constant change there's that saying that the only two things you can rely on are death and taxes but i think we can add change into that mix <laughs> there's always going to be change no matter what and we can flow with that change or we can fight that change and it's up to us to decide what we're going to do so the next thing that i notice is this healing card has some flower symbols that are very similar to this change cards overall shape notice the petals around that outer rim are very similar to the petals of these flowers that are showing up in the background of this healing card. So let's talk about the healing card. He is the king of water. Water is about emotions. And healing, there's the hands of the Reiki practitioner. That upper hand is, is healing the crown, third eye, and throat chakra. The lower hand is healing the solar plexus, root, and sacral chakras and in turn the heart chakra is open like a lotus open and receiving the change that is coming through this healing practition this healing practitioner this healing time we can't heal our past traumas our past wrongdoings and the wrongdoings done to us if we're not willing to change. We have to be willing to change and accept change in order to heal. 
if we didn't change through our healing, we wouldn't heal. We would be stuck in the same trauma, the same emotions, the same thought patterns. So Pisces, if you are going through a transition where you are trying to heal yourself physically, mentally, spiritually, or all three, realize that it can't happen unless you're willing to change. The healing and the change have to go hand in hand. Oh, hand in hand. Look at that. <laughs> that was almost like a dad joke because this figure is inside of hands. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Okay, now let's look at the totality card. This is the five of fire. Five is about action. And notice this acrobatic display is not someone who is alone. Acrobats can't do these things by themselves. They have to rely on others. They have to trust the other people to be completely present in the moment, to be totally immersed in the experience of the action of which is taking place, to be completely, totally present in that specific moment because their lives depend on it. And when we are healing, when we're working on our healing, our lives depend on it. And you could even go as far as to say that it's not just our lives that depend on it, but it's the, it's the lives of our whole ancestral line, because when we're healing ourselves, we're healing our ancestral wrongdoings and uh, trauma. And when we're healing ourselves, we're also healing our future lines. We're breaking cycles. We're breaking traumatic cycles for the future as well as the past and for ourselves. And all of those things, all of those things revolve around this change. So going back to this totality card for a minute, uh, you can't do it alone. Pisces, you can't, you can't heal yourself by yourself. Sometimes you have to rely on others to help you, to assist you, to be supportive, to catch you when you're about to fall. Whoever those other people are is up to you. Maybe it's your BFF, maybe it's your spouse, maybe it's a therapist, maybe it's, you know, you're a family member. Who's your support team? Who's your support system? Who's going to be there to help you through this healing process? Who's going to be there to help you through all these changes? Very interesting spread. I have to say that might be one of the most interesting ones of this whole day. So I hope that this reading was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment if you feel inclined, share. If you would like, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I offer a variety of personal readings, tarot, medium, etc. You can find these over at my website. I also offer monthly coffee memberships for a variety of different types of readings. Check out the events and classes page on my website to see all the upcoming classes and small group medium readings available. Don't forget you can join us over on Twitch. My schedule for the first three weeks of August is Tuesday Variety Night, Wednesday Reading Day, and Friday Reading Night. Once again, thank you for watching this Quick Draw Tarot reading for August.